Alrighty, hey guys, and welcome back. We've got another game. It's Besiege, and I'm sure there's many of you who's already played this and have seen it out there. I've decided to finally get it so I could actually get in on the fun. What it basically is, is it is, uh, you're building a siege engine to kind of siege this little village here. It's the only one available. So we're going to go ahead and go into Ypsilon and go through all of this. There's 15 zones, each one getting more difficult than the previous. And so let's go ahead and start it. And see how good of a siege weapon we can build. Alright, so basically you got this little box that you got to build in. And the tips on the side there, they will tell you how to start it and how to build it. I've already played a little bit so I do know how to do some things so I'm going to go ahead and make a... Uh, let's go with catapult. I like catapults so... alright so I don't know how other people make their catapults but mine isn't so uh, difficult so to say Alright, so that is basically my catapult, and I'm going to extend this back end, another four blocks, and attach two wills. Underpowered wills. No power. Oh shoot, wait. Never mind. Well, I guess that can work. Okay. I, I'm gonna go with that. Alright, we're gonna set it on the ground. Let's see, we're gonna make kinda like a trebuchet, I guess. Alright, so let's do a piston here, a piston here. One wooden block. And then go across. I've never done this design before, guys, so bear with me. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but it should work. I mean, worst case, I'll just crash into a little building. It's pretty easy to get past this one. We're going to go ahead and brace everything. Alright, so mechanical, we attach a spring from here to back here. Wait, nope. I need a block first. Alright, so we do that and then we delete this bottom block so it is like kind of just sitting there floating. Alright. Now we attach it like this, and this, and voila, a trebuchet. But we also have to attach this back one with a spring like that so we can pull it back and reload it. We're going to kind of use this as a bulldozer type mechanic and it's going to slingshot that block forward but it's not going to leave our uh, cart it's basically going to stay attached the whole time so that'll be good alrighty so we will assign this one to two and these two to one Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can take this out. I mean, I know we can, but, you know, with the uh, mechanic. As you see, works just like that. So 
except it doesn't seem to want to go over it again. Eh. We might have to extend that front a little bit. Let's just go ahead and run this guy over. Okay, it's all good. And it's got pretty good maneuverability. And we can maneuver pretty quick and easily. So it works great. And yeah. I imagine if we had some blocks sitting up top there, we could shoot them off or uh, a rock or something. We might just do that. Uh, we're just going to crash right into this. And level 1 cleared. Next level. Oops. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I didn't extend the pistons. Eh, we throw parts of our cart, but that's okay. It works better. But we do need it to go uh, forward another two, because we needed to slingshot past that. Alright, so we're going to make these disappear. And attach them like so. Oops. There we go. Alright, so we need a piston in the back here, too. Mechanical. And this is to basically raise that up so it's over our front. And so we can do that. We will reassign that to 1. Er... Um... Yeah, I don't know. Let's try it with one. Hmm, <laughs> doesn't work. It's because that piston is too attached to it. Alright, let's try it with the decoupler. <laughs> Oh, that totally failed. <laughs> hmm. I want this to work. All right. We're still pulling our back end off. Hmm. Okay, well, um Let's try it again with the piston. I didn't key map the uh springs there, so it might not have been working because of that. Well, that blue failed. Hmm. Plan number two. All right, let's scrap this. <laughs> that didn't work out as we planned. 
Let's try this again. We're gonna go with a uh, catapult design. And as many of you might know, this is how a catapult actually looks in real life. You start with this box, and then you go back to steering hinge up here and here. We make those the powered wheels because you want forward power more so than back, and then the back two wheels will be attached here. Let's set it on the ground. Alright. Yes, I know this is an easy level and we can get past it at any time, but yeah. We are trying specific things. Alright. Um. Uh, shoot. Alright, let's try this. Decoupler. Where's the hinge? There's the hinge. Alright, so... One block up, one block up. And there we go. And that will be the arm of the uh, catapult. Oh, there's the holder. Put it on the second one just in case. And we're going to put a boulder in it. And now we need springs. We'll go with the third one down to here. Third one down to here. Let's see how it works. Hmm. That decoupler's gotta go. It doesn't work as well. They can't lift it over. Hmm. Alright. Too much weight on the back. Oops. Maybe I'm doing that wrong. Alright. Let's see how this works. It doesn't. <laughs> hmm. Okay, this is just driving me crazy now. These should work. Maybe we gotta go higher up. Now let's go higher up with it. Also, if you guys want me to try specific things, leave a comment below and I will attempt to recreate your idea and see if we can get that all situated and working and I will do my best to make it happen. It doesn't matter what it is, you can decide anything there. 
I'm alright with doing anything. It's all good. Nope, not that. Oops. Those are my other machines that I actually made beforehand. Alright, so we have a position for it to go forward to. And so we will attempt this again with it like so. And like so. Four in the back, two in the front. And the spring on the first one going to here. And the spring on the first one going to here. Let's see if it works. Much better. Alright, so we will do it that way, and we'll put the string on the second one going to here, and second one going to here, so we can pull it back. You can key map them to anything. I like doing one and two. It's easy enough. Alright, so we need a holder. And it'll be here. And we're going to use a bomb. Because why not? Let's see if it works. Okay, not enough forward power. <laughs> Alright, so we will use an adjustable weight right here, and here, and here. Still not far enough. So we need to extend our arm, basically. Alright, so once we get this working, guys, that'll be it for our first episode, and as always, I do enjoy seeing more comments about all this. I would love to see your guys' ideas on this and how you guys would go about it, and I think it'd be a pretty cool thing to try other people's ideas and see if I can make them work myself. No, that didn't even work. Dang. What am I doing wrong here? <laughs> uh, there's six in the back, two in the front. Hmm. Is it not an far enough downward? Let's try to put the springs back to this one. See how well this messes up. Alright. Okay, that did not work. There's something just not working here. Maybe if we put a suspension here? Will that work? Okay. 
Oh, hey, we figured something out. Okay. So if we just uh, do it on the front here, that pulls it down far enough to throw it. Hey, we got a working catapult. We can bomb chickens. Alright, so let's remap that to one. Alright. And let's go ahead and brace this. So it doesn't get all flimsy and swing everywhere. We don't want it breaking, so we're going to brace it on three sides. Brace our side, brace the front. Alright. Up. And on the side. Up and on the side, okay. And then we do this one, and this one, and this one. And that should be good enough. I would think so. Alright, let's slap some armor on the back here. So we can also use it as a ram. <laughs> And every other block will be armor, I suppose. And we're going to throw two cannons on here for the fun of it. Alright, so our cannons are going to go right there. Alright. Let's go take out this windmill. Ready? Fire! Oh, we totally hit ourselves. Oops. Why is it broke? Yeah, why is it blowing up in the air? Nothing has changed. Yeah, that, that's like. Wow. Okay, well, we're just going to go ahead and break this windmill anyway. It is a successful siege machine. It does have machinery and it moves pretty good, as you can see. It moves really nicely. And we can move very quick. And that's the end of that level. We're going to go uh, blow ourselves up, apparently. <laughs> next zone, and I will see you guys next time with episode 2. I actually like this game. It's pretty fun. Never thought I would have so much fun blowing stuff up, but here I am. Let me know if you guys want me to try to make specific things, like... I don't know, anything anything you can think of, flying machines, whatever, it doesn't matter. I will always try to make them, and if you leave a comment below, I will be sure to attempt it next video, and I will see you guys next time with episode 2 of the Let's Play Besiege.